So over the weekend, I went to three different stores and I found a couple good things to resell online, including a couple pieces from my favorite era to source, Y2K. So if you wanna see what I found this weekend, keep on watching. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally at an antique mall and occasionally on Macari and Depop. And like I said, this is a thrift haul. This is one of my Friday thrift finds series episodes. And I spent about $155 between three different stores. Um, two were Savers locations and one was a consignment store that I had never been to before. Spoiler, it wasn't great, but I did pick up two items from that store. And my average cost of goods for everything I'm about to show you is about $7.79. Uh, disclaimer, I did get, I think like 10 books for myself. Um, so I'll put those towards the end of the haul. So if you just wanna stick around for the clothes and items that I'm going to resell, then you can click off when we get to that point. So let's get started. First we have a plushie. She's adorable. She is a rosy maple moth and the brand on her is Squishable. Um, this, I was really surprised by the comps. I saw a couple sold comps for $40 and $45. Um, I'm pretty sure I listed mine at $45. Um, she's flawless. There's nothing wrong with her. No marks, no anything. Um, and all this stuff that I'm about to show you, by the way, has been listed because I have been keeping up with the new incoming stuff. Just don't ask me about my death pile because, yeah. All right, so here is the clothing item I got that's from the Y2K era. Um, I am an 80s baby, so I was in high school around that Y2K time, and I love it. I love the fashion, minus the low-rise jeans, because nobody likes to see those whale's tail, and I'm really sad that that's coming back in trend. But anyway, I saw these and decided to grab them. I think they were like $3, so the investment was pretty low. And these are vintage LEI. I definitely owned clothing from this brand when I was a teenager. It stands for Life Energy Intelligence. If you didn't know, uh, it's got a raw waist, like a raw hem waist and raw inseam. Um, and then the zipper I thought was interesting. It has three little like metal rings that kind of look like piercings, like a nose or a belly button ring piercing which i thought was pretty cool but yeah i'm excited for these and these are a size nine in juniors i did just make sure that i put the measurements in the listing i always do that for denim pieces next is a brand that i've definitely slowed down in picking up let me know if you guys still source this brand if it still sells for you this is spanx these are an extra small um the smaller sizes in spanx don't sell as well um, because they are shapewear and they are really designed for bigger sizes than extra small or small but they do still sell for me sometimes they just sit these are uh, like the look at me now moto legging or something like that you guys will be seeing it um, when the listing pops up but yeah nothing super exciting with these I did find another kind of on the same token shapewear legging, um, and this is a new brand to me. So this is called Belly Bandit, and the style is called the Mother Tucker. These are a size small, and these are postpartum compression leggings. So they have like an ultra, ultra high rise waist, as you can see, like the seam for the waist is here. Um, and these are obviously a gray and black camo print. So I'm excited to see how these do. And these were just in the active wear section. I don't go in like the maternity section or anything like that. All right, then I have a couple pieces from a brand that I've never sourced before. I learned this brand from Constance at Teach and Thrift here on YouTube. I will leave a link to her channel down below. Um, she used to be a teacher and now she is a full-time reseller, but the brand is called Coolabar. Um, and I have, it's three pieces, but it's actually two items. Um, one's just a two piece set and it's all new with tags. 
So this is a swim bra. I mean, you could essentially use this as a regular sports bra if you wish. It's a red and white floral pattern, and this is a size small. And then the other piece, which is the two piece, is in the same print. It's a long sleeve, um, but if you can see here, this top piece is like a shrug and the interior piece is just a tank top. So you have the option of wearing the tank top or you can make it into a long sleeve by adding the little shrug on top. Again, new with tags, this is a convertible swim shirt, same size, size small. So like, see, this is just the outer piece and then the tank top interior. So. Let me know if you guys have sold this brand too. I would love to hear about your experience. All right, like I said, I went to a consignment store. It wasn't great. I had heard about it from a friend of mine that's a reseller in the area and it smelled immediately like cat pee as soon as I walked in. Um, it was like I was walking into a litter box and that's not a fun time for anyone. So I just had a poor experience anyways. And then the prices, obviously it's a consignment store so it's not thrift store prices. Um, so everything, is expensive but I did grab two items and that's it so this first item is Abercrombie and Fitch the skinny high-rise this is the curve love I only pick up the curve love unless I'm at the bins then maybe I would try a non curve love pair of denim these are a size 27 or 4 regular and they are brand new with tags these are a skinny which I don't often pick up these days but I love the light wash and then they have a front seam all the way down the leg and then they are vented at the hem it's called a vent hem where it just splits here in the front of the bottom hem so I thought those are pretty cool but I think they were like $18.99 so yikes and then this pair I think was $11.99 or $12.99 it might have been $12.99 but I love selling this brand this is Revice these are a great size they're a size 30 and I'm pretty sure Shay at spending under 30. Um, I don't know if she's active on YouTube anymore. I don't think she is. She's local to me, but I'm pretty sure she had these same jeans at one point. They are called the Yin Yang and the zipper. As you can see, it goes all the way around through the crotch and to the back. So um, yeah, they are easy access jeans and I actually have the same pair for sale, well the same style for sale in the shorts version in my store. All right, back to the regular savers thrift haul. Uh, this is another pair of Abercrombie Curve Love. I already showed you guys the tag. It's essentially the same thing, but these are the ankle straight ultra high rise size 26 or two regular and until I got home and I was about to list them, I didn't notice that they were new with tags. Um, so I got two pairs of Curve Love new with tags and the retail on both pairs is $99 US. And these are a black coated denim. They do have a very subtle, if you can see, raw hem at the bottom. I just thought these were really cool and bonus new with tags. If you watched last week's haul video, I had, I think, four sports bras from this brand. It's called Buff Bunny. I found another pair in a size a medium. Well, not another sports bra, but I found a pair of leggings in the same size medium. So I don't know if maybe they were from the same person and they just didn't get put out at the same time. But Buff Bunny collection, size medium. This is the logo on the back, the little bee that looks like a bunny with ears. And these are red, just basic solid legging. They do have the little point in the back, kind of like the Lululemon aligns, and they're really nice material. I did get a couple of active skirts, which is not something that I normally pick up, uh, but they were in the uh, shorts section of the thrift store because they are skorts and they're both from Athleta. They're both fairly recent within the last year or two. Um, so this first one is the Ace Tennis Skort, 13 and a half inch, size small. For Athleta bottoms, I'm only picking up the ones that have the style name right under the brand. That helps me stay on top of current styles. So yeah, just a basic black tennis skort. The other one's pretty much similar, same size. This is the Run With It 14 inch skort. They look pretty much identical, same situation, built-in shorts underneath. 
Uh, I did find um, another activewear piece, and there's more to come. This is Gymshark, which I'm very picky with these days, but I thought this style was interesting. It's very washed out on camera right now, but it's like a neon orange. And I like the asymmetrical neck on this, and then it's a strappy back. This is a seamless style bra, and it's a size medium. The tearaway tag looks like it was never even washed, so I don't know if someone maybe never wore there, so maybe wore it once or twice. Um, I did find some Lululemon. This first one I'm keeping. Um, it's a size six, because it still somehow has its tearaway tag, though that one definitely has been washed. And this is just a pink short sleeve tee. I don't even know what style this is, but it doesn't matter because it's staying with me and it will match pretty well with a pair of pink leggings um, from Lulu that I already have. Then I found a little dishcloth just for personal use and it's got sumo wrestlers on it in various yoga poses. And I just thought it was really cute. So I'm gonna wash this and put it somewhere in my house. I got two Peloton bras, one of which has already sold. They're both the same style. I think it's called the Cadence Speed Up or something like that, and they're both a size medium. This is the first one. This one is like a navy color with the multicolor logo and spell out and the multicolor straps on the back. Um, so here's the interior tag. If you don't know what Peloton looks like, a lot of times they do have collabs with other active companies like Lululemon. Um, I've seen Title IX or Splits 59 rather, not Title IX. Um, I've seen Pop Fit do collabs with Peloton. It usually does pretty good for me. Um, it has slowed down a bit since, you know, COVID is not as rampant anymore and people are back to work and not so much using their Peloton bikes like they were during the height of the pandemic, but it does still sell. And this is the other one. This is the one that sold. Um, I listed it at 28 and my Flipbot sent out an automatic 10% off offer. So they purchased it for $25. So that one is sold. I gotta get that shipped out. And then I have two pairs of Lululemon leggings. Um, this first pair my friend found and didn't want them, so gave them to me. These are a size 18, which is a phenomenal size. I don't know what they go up to now, 20, 22, something like that. Um, and these are a Wonder Under high rise tight in a classic black color. So I think these will do pretty well. And then this pair was kind of a bad buy and I didn't notice until I already ripped the tags off, but luckily they're my size, so I'll probably just keep them. Um, but this is called the Zoned In Tight and these are like a purple plum color. I think the color is called like smoke, smoked plum, something similar. They have little reflective bands on the bottom, um, but it's got a giant hole in the leg so these might just be mine i did list them for now to see if i can get any interest in them because i know that lululemon does repair some stuff um and there is also a little bit of seam wear in the crotch if that even comes across it's not a hole it's just it looks a little ugly so these might end up just getting pulled from poshmark and ebay and then just go into my own rotation of active wear stuff then I have two hard goods and then we can move into the books and then this haul is all said and done. These are a personal buy. This is a set of four coasters from Thirsty Stone, I think it is. One of them has the tag on it. It's acacia wood in like a terrazzo and they're all, all the same. And so those are just staying here on the coffee table that y'all are sitting on right now. And then the other thing I got was this love mug. It's just from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia and this is going straight to the booth after I wash it. Cups do fairly well for me over there. And then yeah, let's get into the books. All right, so they're in no particular order just how I grab them out of here, but Savers, at least in my area, has buy four books, get the fifth one free. So I had nine books and I figured I might as well just find a 10th one so that I could get two books for free. So I did. 
Um, this first book is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I do already own this, but this is the special rehearsal edition script. So I don't have this one and this is gonna go into my Harry Potter collection of stuff. Next we have Altered Carbon. I have not heard great things about the book, but I really, really loved, especially season one of the show on Netflix. It's a Netflix show, season one, and then season two has Anthony Mackie as the lead character. Um, but yeah, the reviews on the book, not great, but I am excited to read it just because I wanna kinda compare and contrast with the show. This was the book that I got for uh, the 10th one just because I happened to see it and I figured I would grab it. This is The Real World, it has like the first four seasons of the real world all about like the people on it it even has an application for the show in the back and someone filled out parts of it so i'm just gonna take those parts out but if you know me at all in real life or on social media i love not so much the real world but i love the challenge which originally started as the real world versus road rules challenge so mtv that's the only show that i like to watch all right Another Y2K item, and I'm obsessed with this book. I used to own it when I was a kid. It's NSYNC, tearing up the charts. Um, there are some color photos in the middle, a couple of which the pages have been torn out, but that's fine. I'm not like upset about it or anything, but yep. My, my NSYNC member was definitely JC, still is. I still think he's fine. Um, anyways. Moving on, I also got Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, which I believe is a movie. So I wanted to read the book first. And then if I like it, I'll try the movie. I got You're Not Lost, an inspired action plan for finding your own way. I like to read those types of books besides like the normal, you know, fiction, nonfiction. Um, I got You Are a Badass. I have read this book, but in the um, you are a badass at making money version. So I figured if I, you know, finding finding that one, I might as well read that one too. Then I got, um, let's see, Girl Stop Apologizing and Girl Wash Your Face from Rachel Hollis, I think is her name. Yeah, I, I don't know how they are, but I like to read. So I'm always looking for new stuff. I should probably slow down because I have like 30 books that I, are in my queue to read and I'm not the i'm a fast reader but finding the time to sit down and read is the problem then i got the rules do not apply i don't really know about that one but the reviews were decent on that one and then the last book i got was the first one that i found and it was in all places in the cookbook section and it is chanel and this has already been claimed by my good friend daniela she is local to me um, and i sent her a picture of it and she said she wanted it so she will be getting this but I thought this was really cool and it would be great as like, you know, like a coffee table book if you take off the outer sleeve and it's just black um, with the silver. I think it's really classic looking. So that was a cool find. And I know these can resell, not for a whole lot, but I could probably have gotten like $15, $20 um, if I wanted to resell that. But I was gonna keep it and then Daniela said she wanted it. So it's going to Daniela. But that's it for my haul guys. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. Let me know how you think I did in the comments down below, what your favorite item was. If you have any reviews for any of these books that I just showed you, please leave them in the comments. I would love to know how you guys found those books. But other than that, that's it. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And as always, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.